green building workshops. We have a lot of information today, so I'm going to go as quickly as I can. Um, quickly for the uh, for the agenda, we have seven speakers total. We'll have three speakers, and then we'll, we'll have a question and answer and a, a break um, with snacks, and then we'll have our last four speakers. Um, that's the that's the quick overview. Each speaker will have about 15 minutes. Um, so it's going to be quick. Um, so for sure, but they will hang out. Um, I know we have some people who are coming a little bit late, and some people have to go a little early. Um, but we will have one. We'll have this recorded. We'll have the information up on our website. We'll have con their contact information. So if you don't get your question answered tonight, you can always follow up with them. Um, I want to start out by thanking our sponsors for tonight because if we didn't have sponsors, we wouldn't be here. Um, Fair and Square Construction. Thanks, Ron. Homelink Magazine. And our energy sponsor is New Power Fund. So, and of course, thank you to McKnight for hosting us tonight. Quickly, upcoming events. Um, and we have a lot of upcoming events, but I'm going to focus mostly on our green building events. We always encourage you to visit our website for a full list of events that are coming up um, because we probably have six in the next two months. Uh, but related to green building, on September 29th, our Talking Green event is with Jim Lindbergh of Preservation Green Lab um, out of Denver. And they are working to quantify the environmental value of building reuse. Um, and, and this is with the hope of developing a policy um, to, for preservation of historic buildings and um, the, the quantifying of the sustainable value or green building value. Um, we also have our Green Building Tour, which is scheduled for October 25th. Um, we have two homes to cure, uh, Scott, Scott Connor and Hazel Hoff up on Huckleberry. Um, Adam Wright will be speaking tonight. Um, and um, we also will, we will be finishing up at um, the Justice Center, um, as Andy said today. Um, I've never been there. I guess that's a good thing. So we'll be visiting the Justice Center. They've got a super efficient HVAC system and a solar, um, solar power, good solar power, uh, solar panel. So we'll be visiting, uh, finishing up there. We are looking for one more um, house to visit, and Josh will be talking quickly about that in just a minute. Um, so October 25th, put that on your calendar. Um, two other announcements. Um, one is if you're not familiar with the rebate program that we're administering, I um, would be happy to talk to you during the Q&A or after. Um, uh, YDSC is administering um, a rebate fund that's funded from YDEA and the City of Steamboat Springs. Um, right now, we've just started, we only have, the total pot is about $22,000. We have started with small and simple um, light appliances and some weatherization audit, uh, audit thermostat and air sealing. Um, we're hoping to expand that as we get more support. Um, it's um, for residential and it is for commercial, but what we say with commercial is with the, how small the rebates are, the impact isn't as big, but we encourage all YDEA members to apply. Uh, we've got some um, rack cards. Um, you can visit their website or visit our website for more information. Um, and also for larger commercial, um, we do host annually the USDA training, which is a rural, America, rural Renewable Energy for America program. Um, they provide grants for uh, commercial and ag, um, and we usually have our training uh, late winter, February or March, and the application is a, um, is a rolling admission, but uh, the, they usually do a final on April 15th, I think. Um, we have pa Patty come up um, from USDA at the Delta. There is a training in Meeker um, and Silverthorne. So if you're interested in finding out more about the REAP program and the funding opportunities, um, those are, they're not super close, but um, it's worth going to. I can answer some questions about REAP if you have them, um, and then I can give you the contact information for Pat Patty. Um, and finally, my plug for support. Um, obviously, by this is a small nonprofit. We have a small budget. We try to do a lot of work. We rely strongly on our um, individual donations and program sponsors. If 
if anybody is interested in a green building uh, sponsor, um, come and see me. I've got um, sponsor packages that I can talk to you about what that's all about. Um, I know Josh with HomeLink. Josh Nat is here with HomeLink, and he's going to get a couple quick announcements, and then we're going to have uh, Marty Fedray from um, Core and Energy Smart Colorado. And we've just partnered with those guys. He's going to tell you more about that program. We're really, really excited to help us with energy efficiency and also to make the most of our rebate program. So, Josh? Yeah, no, not here. Oh, okay, so we'll go over to Marty. Um, um, Marty is the program manager for Energy Smart Colorado that provides access to information, financing, and a qualified workforce for residential and commercial, commercial energy efficiency customers throughout the Western Slope. Act 4 in the Roaring Fork Valley he is available to help business owners with energy efficiency and retrofit projects. He has been a general contractor in the Roaring Fork Valley since 2001 as the co-owner of a design-built firm specializing in sustainably built custom homes. He earned a lead green associate and BPI building analyst certification and has a master's degree in architecture from the city of Denver. Thank you very much. Can everybody hear me? All right. Do I hear maybe not me? Oh, good. Yeah, right. <laughs> this, you want me to talk to this time? So, um, just real briefly, um, before I get into Energy Smart Colorado, uh, I didn't bring any slides, so bear with me. Um, but we just wanted to sort of give you guys an overview of what Energy Smart Colorado the brand is and how it sort of relates to what's already uh, being done up here um, and sensible energy and so forth. So, um, Energy Smart Colorado is really uh, just a brand. You know, it's sort of a, a, an idea. It's a partnership between organizations like YBSC that are already doing great work. We're just trying to bring everyone together under one roof and hopefully get the attention of the state and larger utilities uh, by, by providing sort of a standard program that, that we can all plug into, consistent metrics that we can measure. Uh, we developed a home energy assessment tool, so that's a standard tool that everybody uses who's an energy smart partner. Uh, we're trying to work on commercial now uh, going forward. So, so just very high level, this is sort of nothing really new, but you'll start seeing hopefully the Energy Smart brand up here uh, in partnership with Sensible Energy and, and YBEA. YBA. Um, so just, just a little bit of background uh, as to, as to why, I'm, why I'm here today. We're sort of our official launch today. Um, YBSC is the ninth member of Energy Smart Colorado. Uh, but really, we're all over the state um, with uh, utility contracts that I'll, that I'll get, get into here in a second. Um, Energy Smart Colorado started as a Department of Energy grant back in 2011, is when we really got going. Um, the first three counties to implement it were Pick, and Eagle, and Gunnison. And it's kind of just grown uh, since the end of the grant funding period, which was 2013. Um, into more of a grassroots network um, of, of nonprofit organizations. Energy Smart Colorado itself is a nonprofit, 501c3. Um, so basically, uh, during this, this uh, grant funded program, we developed a lot of collateral, a lot of tools. Uh, we have a loan fund that we still administer, uh, it's officially still through the through Eagle County, but um, Energy Smart Colorado now has control of that fund. So. The plan is to open up what we call the Energy Smart um, Home Improvement Loan for Efficiency Work and Renewables uh, throughout the state. So hopefully those loans will be available here within weeks or maybe a month or two. Um, so it's kind of a low interest loan for, for homeowners uh, that they can do approved efficiency member, uh, uh, measures or renewable projects. So, um, EnergySmartColorado.com, that's kind of the place to, to go for all background information uh, if you're interested. Um, the high level, um, Energy Smart, uh, like I said, we provide the, the standards for um, home energy assessments. We developed our own tool. Um, one of our standards is that uh, anyone doing a home performance, uh, a home assessment is a BPI certified building analyst or better. So we maintain all those credentials and the insurance for those assessors. Um, 
central. So uh, your local uh, MG analyst up here is Greg Pullman, so we'll be working very closely with him. He's already been doing assessments for the past year up here, uh, but now they'll sort of be officially branded Energy Smart Colorado. Um, one of the other things that our home assessment does uh, that we just finished work on is generates a home energy score. I don't know if you all have heard of that yet, but um, home energy score is a DOE program that uh, is basically a miles per gallon sticker for your home, and now an energy smart assessment produces a home energy score. So we're working with Greg to get his um, home energy score certification. There's always certifications to balance, uh, to manage. But as soon as he's uh, certified on, on home energy score, he'll be able to generate home energy scores up here. Is that the hers? It's not the hers, it's the heads. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it wasn't confusing enough, so they, they made one just slightly different. Hers is super in-depth in and comprehensive. Heads is not. Uh, the home energy score is really an asset score, nothing nothing else. It's not nothing behavior driven. It's a one to ten scale. So how's my house doing uh, compared to my neighbors based on square footage and mm -hmm. and the equipment in the home. So very, very basic. It's not a, an audit. It's not a full blown assessment. That's why we piggybacked it onto our um, Energy Smart Colorado mm -hmm. assessment. And if you're curious, you can look on the iPad here and and take a look at what that is. But it's a very comprehensive assessment, probably overly so, but we try and make it um, quick and easy to input information. The home energy score will be nice, a nice part of that to, to quickly generate the 1 through 10 for your home. Yeah. So is it just taking it up a notch to an audit, to the basic audit that has been performed that the energy auditors were doing uh, versus the HERS? Yes. Well, we it's kind of an alternative to hers. I still love the hers rating for you know code compliance and and it's way like I said it's a little more uh, detailed yeah. assessment. The energy smart assessment is somewhere in between. So there's a lot of narrative. There's a lot of like um, you know improvement driven uh, narrative in the in the report. So but in addition we generate some energy scores so it's kind of quick and easy and um, it's a little uh, more additional funding for for the home energy analysts. Um, the state gives us $50 extra to pass through to the, to the analysts, so, yeah. Do you know if there's been any effort to make that more regional, where you're comparing homes of like region as in winter climates versus Steamboat compared to Alabama or something? Uh, yes, the home energy score does take that into account. Okay. Uh, it's based on zip code. And our implementation of home energy score is built on the optimizer modeling platform. So, very limited inputs in Optimizer, but still, uh, I think the 80 or 90 inputs that we <coughs> collect do use the zip code information in Optimizer to weather normalize that information. Um, so really, uh, I'm probably out of time, but um, if you're interested, check out the table. Um, again, the big picture, I think the big idea here is just that Energy Smart is the central database for energy efficiency work and rebate work that's being done in Western Colorado and, and kind of throughout the state with through Atmos Energy, uh, Source Gas, and Colorado Natural Gas. We have a contract to do assessments throughout the state. So what we're trying to do is build a central database for um, as a reference for, for all of the state to use. And uh, so rebate processing is part of what we do. Up here you'll probably see that as a sensible energy, energy smart rebate form that we're going to be working on here. Um, so that will all be part of the central energy smart database. So pretty exciting. Won't change a whole lot on, you know, if you're already used to sensible energy. Uh, won't look that different. But anyway, I think that's it. Yeah, and Marty will be around after if you guys have more questions. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Did you have a couple of questions you want to do your now? Okay. All right, we're going to um, go <coughs> to our first speaker then. So we have um, Scott Kent.